Hey folks, welcome back. All right, so hope you guys are doing well wherever you're at. We're gonna do a little bit of a demo carving here. We've got the template of the month for September, which is like, uh, it's actually another little two piece one. It's actually three piece. Uh, it is three pieces, yeah. Two little uh, hummingbirds, I guess, or those. Yes. Uh, I thought maybe they were Alaska mosquitoes. I'm not <laughs> sure. Anyway. Um, and so what happens is Vicki makes those and then we furnish the two little hummingbirds. You can use those separately or you can use the stencil itself. I'm going to use the stencil here. Set those aside. I'm just putting in a little piece of cherry. I'll carve something here later on. But right now I just want to I just want to do this little double hummingbird. All right. So, Can you hold it up and turn oh yeah. So I am going to set up and carve that. We'll be right back. Okay, so you guys know I normally would cut this inset, uh, which means everything that's black I would cut away. But I have a feeling that on this one I want to do it outset. Um, the biggest reason is I want to color it. So definitely want to color these hearts red and they're much easier to do outset. And then we may do some coloring on the hummingbird. I might talk my wife into doing some coloring on the hummingbird. Yeah, that's the first time I've mentioned it. So we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go. So I've got this set. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Which are you? I'm using, oh, I th gosh, thank you. Uh, the profile bit, and I've got it set, I think, at about an eighth. Yep, or actually, it is uh, it is really close to an eighth of an inch. I think that's going to be about right. We'll see. Here we go. Okay, so I wasn't set, I was set too deep. You could see there were several places there. I kind of backed it off when I reached some of these really tight spots. I really could have done this with the SC fit, excuse me, with the carving liner, but um, I like to always use a profile bit if possible, which um, I decided to just stay with the profile bit. So now I'm going to go back around that a little bit deeper. I'm going to set it at. Uh, somewhere around, oh, I don't know, 3 16 something like that. Go and make a, a wider line around everything. Yeah, I've got it set at about 3 16 now, trying to be careful not to hit those, uh, those hearts in that. I don't want to break anybody's heart. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm so strange.
By the way, I didn't mention this, guys. I'm cutting uh, cherry here. This is another one of those cherry door fronts. Man, I love uh, cutting this stuff. It just cuts so, so nice. Um, all right, so I am going to set up my 60 degree. I don't uh, have it set up right now. I'm going to come back with my little uh, 60 degree bit, and we'll uh, cut a fat line around there. All right, so I've got my rigid router with my, this uh, 2401 rigid with my 60 degree bit. Because I'm really tight on some of these areas, uh, I don't need to cut a big fat line. Normally I would cut a fatter line with a 90, but because we're right at the edge and we're already gonna be into the edge there, um, I don't wanna cut any bigger line than I need to. I've got it set at about 3 16 deep. Here we go. Yeah, I like that. I normally try to cut to avoid hitting these edges like that, but I think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to blend right in there because I'm going to make that black, and the black is going to blend in up here and down here. I think it's going to be okay. All right, you guys. So we're going to spray this. and then we're gonna come back and sand it off. I'll spray it off camera, um, and then we'll come back and sand it off, see what it looks like. See what it looks like. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of touch up right there. Let's see, I've got a couple little tiny high spots. And we're going to have one more scene. We're going to come back. I'm going to put a finished sand on this with my random orbital. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do a little color on there. Okay, so. I am here. I am going to color the hearts on the hummingbird. I am not going to paint the hummingbirds. I'm oh, not a... <laughs> everybody's disappointed. No, I'm not oh, a painter. My daughter... You broke my heart. Whatever. My daughter is the artist. She can paint color and mix all that stuff. This, <laughs> I can paint the red and I could paint, you know, like white and purple. I don't know. But I don't do the blending of the colors and stuff like that. Unless I have a heat gun and resin, <laughs> and then yeah. I can, that's a whole different story. That's not too much detail. So I'm just going to use this little paint pen. We have these in our Amazon store. Comes in a pack like this. That's the Tombow, right? That's the Tombow, yeah. Yeah. They're really cool. Show the double the, ends. Okay. Sorry. You know what? You can't stand it. You just got to have a word. So this one is a really fine tip. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. So we got a really fine tip here, um, and these are tips. They're they're not a it's not a brush, and then you have some that this tip here that's a little bit more where you can kind of get in and really get into small spots like that. So I'm going to use this end, and I'm going to paint these hearts because I can do the hearts here like this. You can also use the. Um, uh, what is that? The one shot, uh, one, one shot. shot red paint, which I really like the colors of that. But these little tiny, it was kind of a a lot to get out just to do these little tiny hearts. But the one shot, we generally put that on over the top. Over the finish. finish. Yeah, this is going to be. This is not finished yet, so Eric's going to spray it once we get the little hearts done here. So this, see. See how easy so this is? These aren't 
You know, when I used to do the ones up in Oatman all the time, when I would do hearts or uh, green trees or whatever. You use the Sharpies, right? Yeah, I use Sharpies, which is in essence is the same kind of thing. And they don't last forever, but when you put a finish on over the top of them, they do last for a while. And then when they do fade, of course, mine were all outside. You're talking about the board fades. I was thinking, I thought you were talking about the pen doesn't last forever, but. That, that is what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. The, the pens, the color on that pen over a period of time, after it dries it's out. outside for a month, it will fade. But you can always just take a Sharpie and do it again. Oh, right over the that's, top of the well, that's, I thought you meant the pen dries up and doesn't no, work anymore. No. Okay. All right, there you go. Voila. Can you turn it around? I can. This is the extent of my painting artistic abilities. Yeah, you're Voila. More, you're more of a... <laughs> I'm, I gotta make a mess. <laughs> yeah. right. If there's not a heat gun involved... And a heat gun torch. and I can yeah. use my hands to move things around. That's yeah, forget cool, it. Though. I like that. Yeah, that looks really cool. So this is our template of the month. We'll be sending that out uh, to all the premium members with their orders as their orders are placed. Start, actually, we've already started sending them out. We always try to send them out start sending them out the end of the last week of the pre previous month. So this is August, so we've already started sending out September's Look template. <laughs> I had to think, I know. There. And they w it will be on the website uh, by the end of the weekend. Um, so that is it, Eric will put a finish on it and then we will show you the finished product. Yeah, when? I don't know. You'll see it. You'll see it next soon. Next week or two. Yeah, so anyway. Um, so anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like my little template here. I've had a lot of really cool ideas, people asking for specific things, and I have some new things coming out. They won't be sets, but they'll be sold individually. Okay. So you want me to give you a hint? I'm sure, yes. Okay, I had um, Mrs. Littleton send me a message. Uh, I think Andy's I, wife? Andy's wife, I yeah. think her name is Stacy or Stephanie, she, I, can't I can't remember, but I'm anxious to meet her at the end of next, the end of the ne end of next month. Um, and she had some sewing um, templates, not the sewing, but the uh, seamstress kind of stuff. And I, I got some of those I'm making, a hot air balloon for um, Tessa Mathis, and some other stuff coming up. So. Cool. Be looking for some new stuff. And that is it. Thanks for watching. You guys give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, if you have any questions, email Eric at makeawoodsign.com. Make right? Yes. <laughs> I just push the button and it comes up with your name and I send you an email. <laughs> um, or you can email me at vickywithdavesigns at gmail.com. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, we would like for you to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you get notified when we put in a new video. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Are we on Instagram by the Oh, I don't know. Are we? Yes. <laughs> Eric is on Instagram with his, uh, his stuff. Uh, and that is Make a Wood Sign. <laughs> Very good. That was good. Make a sign on Instagram. Oh. I, I, I watch Instagram, but I very rarely Do post anything. Do we have anything. our videos on Pinterest now? I'm just curious. <laughs> I'm just All right. Out. Yes, Pinterest. Eric is putting videos on Pinterest a lot lately. I don't know. How many do you have on there now? I've got like 15 or 20. 15 or 20, yeah. yeah. And it's make a wood sign on Pinterest. Yeah. And Facebook. He's on Facebook. Facebook. Eric and Roten, Eric Groton or Dave Signs on Facebook. He's getting really into the social media, which I'm telling you is amazing considering I get, took me forever just to get him with the phone that didn't have a flip thing on it. Um, anyway, so We're rambling. we are rambling. We need to wrap it up. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.